intimate show, wasn't it, compared to being on a big stage for a festival? Yeah, man. It's really nice vibes, and it's one of the best um, energy you know we've got in a club show. It's been crazy. Spain, I don't know. It's been just a high energy every time we come to Spain. It's very intense, and um, I love that because when we give them the energy and get it back fully, it just gives me more vibes to go harder. And we have we have like 30 shows in 35 days, and so it's really hectic and. Every time I say, because tonight I said I was going to just go easy, but when we go out there in the energy, we end up going hard and we perform for 0 and 45. And it's, you know, so it was a, it was a great vibe. So love, love it here in Barcelona. I thought at the moment, really, I had this feeling this the stage is too small for time. <laughs> I thought that I was like, oh, no. It's always nice to perform in, in these type of venues and get the energy pack. And the thing is, is that we want to uh, pack venues to the limits and, 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 and spread the music far. I want people to have fun and go home and feel like they had a great time. And that's what I'm here to do, not to be hype or, you know, be famous, but just to give people a good time so they can go home and feel good and smile. You know? Do actually, when well, your music is um, inspiring, well, I've seen you personally at Rock to Tom, and I was like, whoa, because I didn't know of you before. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all true. So um, I started following you on Twitter. Nice. And then moments after, like days after the gig, you, you would just share your album. And I was like, as a free download, and I was like, okay. selling albums and I mean I don't want it to sound because I, I want to sell my music and to music to go but what more important than selling the music is people hearing the music so whether it is I give them for free or they buy it I, I, I'm grateful when people buy it and support us right? but you know if you want the music and you can't get it I, I send it because I want people to hear and my thing is that I want people to come to the shows that's where I love to be on stage, so the more people hear the music, the more people come to the show. And so that's what I want to see from people. And me and Indonesia on stage together, it's, it's just such, it's so good to be up there with my brothers and sisters and have fun and everybody gets to have fun. And everybody in this band is so versatile. They're so, everybody can sing, everybody plays instruments and it's like to share it together is great. Yeah, there was another value I saw, um, like you just travel with the innovation. You're like somebody calls your manager, your mentor says, you know, it's a lot of us. Yeah, yeah. So it expresses such a, an important value, you know, friendship. And I was wondering how you got together. It's kind of it's, it's eight of us on stage, engineer makes nine. My road, man road manager, Yad Kor, and my cynic is my DJ also, and I used to do track shows. But he, sometimes he plays music before we go on stage, you know. And you know, my mom's my manager, so the team is that, it's lots of people, and there are lots of people that can't get to come. Indignation is just a whole family, but eight, us, eight of us on stage, and uh, I kind of put the band together. I kind of handpicked people and, and saw them, and, I saw the drummer at that, at that show and I was like, I need him to play for us and I approached him and he, he came and he brought Sugo with him that played guitar and Jason, the other guitarist, um, the one to my right, you know, the one that played with his mom, he, he's the first person that was in the band, it was me and him at first and then he just kind of, yeah, he's great, man. He's, he's such a rock star, but trust me. He is, yeah. 
So you're tonight you play the new song. It's called Resist Not Evil. Resist Not Evil. When is it going to be? Uh, About two weeks time. I think it's um, it's by a uh, it's by a producer called Winter James for our label Overstand Entertainment. And he did the, you know, there's a song called Here Comes Trouble by Chronix. It's one of the biggest songs right now. And a rhythm called Rootsman rhythm. And that's rhythm is huge in Europe. So it's his second project. He's a close friend of mine. His keyboard for Damon and Marley. So he was at Rotterdam playing too. And, uh, he's a great producer and made him work on lots of music. And this is the first one that we put in the The tour is continuing. Yeah. The sun is going to be out. You're going to be, I don't know, now you went back to Jamaica after the festivals. Immediately you returned. In between that, you were. Doing some shows, I saw some TV shows in Jamaica. Yeah, well, I went home and just talked a lot of, did a lot of interviews. I went down to St. Vincent, that's another island in the Caribbean, to go and look for my dad for okay. a week. I stayed there and just got some rest. So you did get some rest? A little bit, and I went into the studio and started working on my third album. And I did a couple of tracks, about four or five. And then I went to Israel. We did a show in Israel in the desert, and then we came here.
stressed out and we try to do our part to make people smile because when people smile it opens up their hearts and when you open up your heart you can give love and spread love so that's what we're here to do indignation in this nation spreading love to, to everybody and uh, you know once you're living in love then you will not sing unconditional unconditional love, love. Unconditional 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 love.